Professor Sharon Parker. Please introduce yourself as you wish. Thank you. Um, so my name is Sharon Parker. I'm the uh, director of the Centre for Transformative Work Design at Curtin University in Perth. Um, and I'm a professor in um, organisational psychology. Uh, what is exciting about work design for you personally? Oh, yeah, it's a great question. Uh, I guess I sort of fell into this topic by accident, like many people. Um, and uh, so I, many, many years ago, decided to do a PhD in um, the UK, in Sheffield, um, with Toby Wall. And I really did not know much about the topic of work design at all. Um, but I very quickly came to see the power of redesigning work and the impact that it has on people. Uh, so for example, we were working in an electronics company um, in Leicester and uh, they, I was lucky enough to be there at the beginning and then um, they introduced self-managing teams. So we did a pre-post study and um, I just was amazed by the transformation that I saw in people and in fact, and, and I tried to capture that transformation in my research because what I observed about the literature at that time, there was a lot of focus on things like job satisfaction and um, organisational commitment and so on, but I felt like we weren't capturing the way in which people um, really changed, as in they became more active and they engaged in more voice. And in fact, one of the people in that company uh, that I interviewed, he talked about how we've grown up. He said, we've become more adult in our workplace. And you could see that. And in a way, it was like before people were infantilized and they were passive. And then after the change, they were engaged and active and energized and thoughtful. And I really became such a convert then of the power of work design. And I remain <laughs> a convert to this day. Um, and I think that, um, and I think that, that we, 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 our centre is called the Centre for Transformative Work Design and I use the word transform deliberately because I think good work design can really transform people and that's what we're trying to capture. How do you apply work design theory and research results for you, for your own work? and the work of the centre? Yeah, that's a, also a good question because, you know, academics are famous for not practising what they preach. <laughs> um, but I guess, um, so uh, I talked in my presentation about SMART, the SMART work design model. Um, and I guess we try to make sure people have SMART work. And actually, so that's, that, that's about work being stimulating and people getting feedback and having clarity and having autonomy and having support, the relational component, and then having the tolerable demands. And I honestly think we do pretty well on most of those, except perhaps sometimes the role clarity. So sometimes I think that we um, are not clear enough about what we want from people. And I think the other one that we suffer from is the tolerable demands, because probably we all work too much. Um, so I, I guess I, I, I'm sort of conscious of those things and um, try to just check in with people. I think that's part of it, is just regularly checking in. I mean, we give people plenty of autonomy. Everyone knows about work design, so we're in a good position where if, if things are not going well, people have got the language to articulate it. Um, and we do some little things every now and again, like we just sit around if we're having a meeting and we just do a quick in, quick check-in, like, okay, from the SMART model, how is your work design at the moment? And that's good, actually, because it surprises me sometimes what people um, say, and I have, I, th oh, I didn't think about that. So I guess, I guess the number one answer to your question is we try to practice what we preach. I'm sure we fail <laughs> many times, but at least we try, and um, we try to build it into our practices as much as we can. And uh, during uh, the Congress yesterday, after the opening ceremony and today uh, during your presentation, we could see the sketching concerning work design. And I would like to know, how does the sketching help to explain or to promote work, work design in practice for, for organizations? Yeah, yeah, it's an excellent question as well. I think um, work design can feel a bit abstract when you talk about it and certainly when 
we try to convey the ideas to managers and so on. It's so often something they haven't really thought about. Um, you know, whereas leadership, everyone understands leadership. They know what that means. But work design is harder for people to get their head around. So the idea of the sketches was to try to convey the importance of work design through the pictures and through the stories that people tell. So when you look at the sketches, what you see is people in their work doing their, their job. Um, and then you see little comments, little things that they said to us when we interviewed them. Um, and so that way you can see people talk about, you know, I love the freedom in my work or, you know, I get overloaded and this is how I manage it. And you can see it written on the sketch. So I think it's the combination of the visual plus the story um, that's powerful. And um, we've used them now a few times and they resonate with people because people can look at every job and they can see that all jobs can be designed well. Because I think that's one of the challenges and we also wanted to convey that, is when people think of good work, they tend to think of high status positions like being a lawyer or being a doctor. And actually, actually some of those jobs are the worst design jobs in the world. And this is why we see terrible high levels of burnout and even suicide in, in, in some of those professions. Um, and some of the everyday jobs um, can be great jobs for people if they're well designed. And that was one of the things we really wanted to try to convey. Um, it's not necessarily about status and pay. Of course, people need to have a fair pay and they need to be well regarded. Um, but um, it's also about the quality of the work per se. And the main story and the story I talk about in the presentation of Jeremy is a manager of a rubbish tip. And that's not what we would normally think of as good work. And yet he loved his work and he gave it nine out of 10 because it was well-designed work. And that's what we want to convey with the, with the stories. Thank you very much. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is uh, really inspiring for me personally. Oh, good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>